Yes. Woo! People very, feel very strongly when you when you speak to them about this election, and um, you know, very interestingly, we're going to have maybe our first female president, or a, a person who's never held elected office before as our our president. Um, so very interesting, very good to be a part of that. Um, but as a candidate, you really try and focus on your own race. Uh, get out there and sell yourself. Hope that people are paying attention to the good things that you've accomplished and the good things that you want to do in the future. And so um, that's the goal. You know, get your message out there. Try and be positive. Sell yourself. And, and hope that these other things that are out of your control don't, don't trickle down and, and harm you and you're able to carry the day for yourself. When I first started campaigning back in 2012, people were really polarized about um, social issues. And the last, year, or last election in 2014 is more about education. And this one is really about working families because working families are not feeling that in their pocketbooks. So there's a, there's a frustration there. So they're trying to figure out where to put the frustration and how that filters out in their elected candidates. So as a matter of fact, for as a representative of the District 35, people are really all over the map when it comes to voting. So when we've talked to voters, um, they might split their ticket all over the place, but um, <clears throat> it's very controversial at the top. I think everybody's so tired of it, including myself. Um, I farm, sit in the tractor, all, you know, all fall back and forth between uh, meetings, doing my county job. Um, first couple days are great and then it's you know time to turn the radio off I'm tired of listening to it don't even want to listen to the ball game because of it and everybody really feels the same way you get beat up and you just become numb to it uh, I understand as a candidate myself sometimes uh, you know being in the game you got to go out there and do what you got to do to try and win and I think that in today's uh, day and age we all understand that um, in the same token Thank God it's over. <laughs> and I think the reason that people gravitate more towards their local and state officials is because they feel a relationship. And people want a relationship. They want to know that they're being heard. They don't even, um, sometimes they just feel better being heard. They don't want you to solve a problem. So somehow that person's going to have to come in and find some common ground, even if it's the tiniest tiniest speck of common ground and build on it and really reinforce and I think that's going to be a very necessary component of whoever ends up winning the presidency.